Hello and welcome to Brick Tip number 63. If you start doing anything complicated with gears and taking things and moving them in different directions and different ways, you are eventually going to be using some bevel gears to make that happen. So in today's Brick Tip, I wanted to talk about different ways to use bevel gears in drive trains and in differentials to help you understand where and when to use these types of gears. So if we take a look at bevel gears, you can see that they slide nicely on either side of each other and still remain engaged. And this is the way that we can get our gears to drive things at a 90 degree angle to each other. So if our drive is here and we wanted our shaft to extend out this way and turn something over here, these are the types of gears that you would be using. So here's a quick example. As we turn our small bevel gear, it will turn our large bevel gear and notice that they will turn those axles in the same direction. So unlike other gears where it would be turning in the opposite direction when you pair up two gears with bevel gears, they actually turn with the same rotation. So now notice what happens when we put a bevel gear on the other side. So if we turn our drive, this one is now turning away from the rotation of that axle. So one's turning this way and the other one is turning this way. Now if we switch our direction of drive, the opposite will happen. So now this one is going to start turning the same rotation as the axle and this one is going to turn away. Now we add a fourth bevel gear in here and as we turn our drive this axle is going to be rotating in the opposite direction of this axle so if we drive it this way these two are turning in the same direction this is turning opposite to that and if we go the other way the opposite is true this one's turning in the same direction as that and then still this is turning opposite to that one. Because of the properties of bevel gears they can be used inside of differentials and these are what make it so that your car can drive and turn at the same time. So we're going to explain all the way through this differential and how it works so as we turn our main drive, you can see this ring gear on the outside turns and as it turns, it spins both of those wheels. Now notice what happens when we stop one or the other sides and see the effect on the other wheel. So we'll stop this one and we'll turn our drive and notice that that tire continues to spin because of this fly gear in the middle which is called our planet gear. Now if we're going to turn our vehicle one of these tires will slow down and the other one will speed up and we can see our drive is still engaged and both of these tires are spinning but one is going to be encountering more resistance than the other one so I'm going to show you how I applied that in the swing carousel design. So this small gear under here is the drive gear. This large gear on this side is powering the tire, which is going to be driving around the outside of the ring. And then at the top, this small gear is controlling the rotation of the canopy. Now you can see that motion where 
That large drive gear is driving the outside which is causing the tilt to happen and this tire is actually driving in the opposite direction from the spinning of the canopy. Now had I wanted that tire to be driving in the same direction as the spin of the canopy, this gear would have had to have been put on this side. So hopefully you found this useful and can figure out a way to use bevel gears in your own designs. If you do, please take a moment to submit it on our Facebook page because I would love to see what you've done with it. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and share it around so that others can learn from it. Don't forget to join in the conversation on Facebook and our other social feeds. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming in bricks. Bye-bye.